Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and today it's Friday, so it's weigh-in day. We're gonna talk about my weigh-in, the Weight Watchers workshop topic, we're gonna talk about my week. I actually traveled to San Diego this last weekend for a little mini vacation. We're gonna talk all about that, how that affected my weight loss. I'm gonna pop in some pictures of my trip. So, so if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because we do a weigh-in every Friday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below where you will find nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized macros and calories. This is what I follow to lose and maintain a 140 pound weight loss as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. It's free it's supportive and we would love to have you. So let's talk about my week, my way in and the Weight Watchers workshop topic. Happy Friday, friends. I hope you had an amazing, amazing week. I had a really good week. Like I mentioned, I took a little weekend getaway to San Diego this last weekend to run my first ever 10K. I, you guys know I do 5Ks all the time, usually once a month or so with my boot camp group. I'm a big hiker, I work out regularly, but I've never done a 10K. And typically every year I go to San Diego to do the hot chocolate run, but we've always done the 5K. So we decided this year to challenge ourselves to the 10K. So I actually flew into San Diego this last Saturday morning and Rachel actually had a workout planned with her personal trainer that day. So she, she dropped me off at one of my favorite hiking spots in San Diego called Torrey Pines. It is the most beautiful place to hike it's right on the ocean. So as you're hiking around, you have a beautiful view of the ocean. And then when you're finished with your hike, you can walk down to the beach to rest and relax. I spent about two hours there. I hiked two separate trails. And then I spent a little bit of time at the beach, cooling down, relaxing, had a little light snack, put my toes in the water, sat in the sand, and just enjoyed the beautiful ocean. You know, I live in Arizona. We don't have oceans here. So it's nice to go to San Diego and really just be in my happy place at the ocean. I And like I said, I spent about two hours there, burned about 800 calories hiking around, and then just relaxed at the ocean while I read, waited for Rachel to finish her workout. After she picked me up, we went and had lunch at one of my favorite little restaurants called Flame Broiler. I had steak and veggies. It was absolutely delicious. And then we went back to her house and picked up her roommate and friend, our friend Kelly, and her daughter Cassandra, and we headed down to the expo where we picked up our numbers for the race and our little goodie bag. We do get a, you do get a sweatshirt, a medal, and you get chocolate after the run. That's what makes it so much fun, the hot chocolate run finishes with chocolate. You get chocolate fondue to dip things like bananas and pretzels and marshmallows in, and then you get a cup of hot chocolate. And the expo is really fun. They have vendors there. And like I said, you're able to pick up your race packet for the next day. After the expo, we went to Lululemon, Athleta, and Aloe at a local mall and did a little bit of shopping. I got a cute little jacket from Lululemon and some running shorts. And then we had dinner at a place called Eureka, which is one of my favorite places in San Diego for a burger. They have amazing burgers and truffle fries. So my friend Kelly and I split a burger and fries. It was just absolutely an amazing Saturday. We went home, went to bed early because Sunday morning we got up bright and early about 4.45 a.m. and got ready for the run. Now, Kelly, our fr my friend Kelly, her daughter Cassandra, Cassandra's boyfriend Zach, and my good friend and subscriber Wendy also drove in for the run. They all did the 5K. So they actually started an hour before Rachel and I. So the 10K and the 15K started an hour later than the 5K. So they started their race. Rachel and I went and had some coffee before the race, and then it was off and running for our first ever 10K. Let me tell you, it was so rewarding to not only finish the 10K, but to finish with a really good time, to do quite a bit of jogging and running, and to finish six and a half miles in beautiful, sunny San Diego. I, like I said, I'm so proud of me and Rachel. This is something that's been on my bucket list for so long. And I told her maybe next year we would do the 15K and she kind of side-eyed me and gave me a dirty look. So I don't know that we'll do the 15K next year, but we did decide that we will for sure be doing the 10K and our goal next year will be to beat our time from this year. Only compete with yourself, my friends. Don't compete with anybody else. And for us, it's beating our time that we did this year. I felt really good doing the 10K. All of my working out and boot camp and hiking, I've built up quite a bit of endurance. So I didn't find the 10K hard at all. 
I will say about mile five, mile five and a half, my legs started to get a little bit tired it's from doing so many miles. And there's quite a bit of hills in San Diego. Not really intense straight up hills, but really long hills, blocks long of a hill with a steady incline. So my legs started to get a little bit tired, but once I got close to that finish line, I sprinted through the finish line. And once I finished the race, the adrenaline was there and I was so excited to have my chocolate and just enjoy the rest of my day. I'm so proud of us. So, so proud of us. I'm so proud of Kelly, Cassie, Zach, and Wendy for finishing the 5K. And I can't wait to go back to San Diego to do it again next year. It is something that I really look forward to every single year. After the race, we had breakfast and then we went to Old Town San Diego and we went to an old Mormon exhibit where they talked about Mormon culture. My friend Rachel and Kelly both grew up Mormon. I personally don't know a lot about the religion and I really enjoyed hearing about their culture and how they traveled so far and the church. And it was just really interesting. I became a pioneer for the day, sat in my first covered wagon. It was just really, really interesting. And then we did a little shopping in town and ate at this amazing Mexican restaurant before heading back to just relax for the evening. We're big 90 day fiance watch so the three of us watched the tell-all for 90 Day Fiance and then I woke up Monday morning bright and early to head back home. It was just a really good weekend filled with activity, filled with movement, filled with amazing, amazing food. Oh, I did have the best vegan donut of my life at a place called Dark Horse Coffee in San Diego. If you go to Dark Horse Coffee, you have to get their vegan donuts. They're incredible. And we also tried, the, tried a place called Buzz Coffee. It's newer to the San Diego area. Chef's Kiss, amazing, delicious coffee. We actually had that both Sunday and Monday. So I would definitely check out those places when you're in San Diego, as well as Old Town and Torrey Pines if you wanna hike while you're there. And if you are in the area, highly recommend the Hot Chocolate Run. So much fun. I just had a really good weekend with my friends. It was everything that I needed for the weekend. Like I mentioned in last week's weigh-in, I did not track my food while I was gone. I was so active while I was gone and I was still mindful, like I said, about eating my protein, but I enjoyed donuts and dessert and I enjoyed the chocolate after the run. Listen, I earned every piece of that chocolate and I just enjoyed my vacation. I didn't focus on food. I focused on moving my body and spending time with my friends. And like I said, it was everything that I wanted it to be. Monday morning when I flew home, I got right back to normal, tracking my food, hitting my protein goal every day. I took both Monday and Tuesday as rest days. Tuesday's always my rest day, it's my filming day. And then I flew home on Monday and I was so exhausted from the weekend. I took a nap and I went to bed at 7.30 on Monday. So I needed that day to just rest and recoup. And I really wanted to spend time with Palmer and Lola and Troy and just kind of get back into my, my work habits and just, I just wanted to get back into my normal life when I got back from my trip. But I was back at boot camp Wednesday, in the gym Thursday, at boot camp this morning, really truly just back to my normal routine which is exactly what I do post vacation. I always just get back to normal. That's how, if there is any weight fluctuation or weight gain from a vacation, rid that and get back to your normal weight is getting back to your normal routine. When I came home from my trip, I had so many packages, so much mail. I also spent a lot of time Monday going through those packages. One of the packages that came, I was dying for it to get here. And it's this necklace actually that I'm wearing today. This is from the brand She Said Yes, it's great if you're looking for engagement and wedding jewelry, but they also have some beautiful other pieces. And I fell in love with this necklace on the website, ordered it before my trip and it arrived while I was gone. And so of course I had to put it on today and I'm absolutely loving it. This is the Believe Me Round Cut Necklace. I picked mine up in the 10 karat white gold. It also comes in regular gold and rose gold in 10 karat, 14 karat, 18 karat and platinum. This is the perfect combination of the stunning evil eye lustrous metal. A round shaped stone is held in the center as the eye's pupil and a glimmering paved accents adorn the outline to complete this chic style. It can protect you and your beloved one from misfortunes and bad luck. It is absolutely superior quality. Very shiny, very sparkly, and extremely well made. I love how She Said Yes comes packaged. It's perfect for a gift or a gift to yourself. She Said Yes offers 
easy 30 day returns, a greeting card, yes service, free shipping, a one year warranty, reusable packaging, and a certificate of authenticity. Not to mention the most beautiful packaging in the most beautiful box to store your jewelry. They are beyond conflict free. They use recycled precious metals and reusable signature packaging. Again, they offer free shipping, yes service, flexible payments, a 30 day return, a one year warranty, and all of the pieces are custom made. I really love this piece. It's so beautiful. The chain is extremely high quality. There's different settings on the chain depending on the length of the necklace. I have mine on the shortest setting so that it sits beautifully a little bit closer to my neck. You can adjust it to have it in multiple lengths. Again, mine is the 10 karat white gold and I absolutely love it. It's the perfect gift to myself, and I love that it's handcrafted, high quality, and sustainably made. And again, the packaging can't be beat. It makes an amazing gift. She Said Yes is an incredible brand, and they have a huge selection of jewelry. She Said Yes was so incredible and offered a 15% discount for you. You can get the 15% off using the code Jen Clayton. I will link the She Said Yes website down below. I will link my necklace for you specifically if you're interested in picking up the evil eye necklace for yourself, but I highly recommend the brand. I can't wait to pick up some more pieces. I'll make sure it's linked down below for you with that 15% off discount. Now that I'm protected by my beautiful She Said Less, She Said Yes necklace, before I jump into my weigh-in, let's chat about this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic. And that is how a bedtime routine can help you reach your goals. This speaks right to my heart because on my nutrition channel, even on this channel with my coaching clients, we talk a lot about how important sleep is for weight loss and why it's incredibly important to try to go to bed around the same time every night and to get seven to nine hours of sleep. We need to prime our mind and our body for better sleep every night so that we can fall asleep and stay asleep and get those seven to nine hours. So here's some things that you can try. List what you need to do before bed. Maybe it's set the coffee maker, lock up the house, brush your teeth, and set your alarm. And then pick one to two calming activities to try. Gentle stretching, reading, a warm shower, or journaling. Then make a plan for when and and in what order you'll do your routine. After locking up, I'll follow a short stretching video, then brush my teeth and read in bed for 15 minutes. It's really important to find something to relax your mind and your soul and your spirit before bed. It definitely helps you fall asleep and stay asleep throughout the night. One thing that I do every night is put my phone away about 15 minutes before I fall asleep. So I'll put my phone away, do my nighttime skincare routine, brush my teeth, and then I don't pick up my phone again. I immediately go to bed while I'm more relaxed and ready for sleep. I mean, there's times that I'll go to bed absolutely exhausted and not be able to fall asleep. But if I follow the routine of putting my phone down before I do my nighttime skincare, teeth brushing, I have a much easier time falling asleep. It's really important to have a bedtime routine. In fact, they say about 30 minutes before you go to bed, you should start doing your bedtime nightly routine. And that includes those calming exercises. Make it a to-do list for you. Make it a habit. Make it something you do every single night. And it's also really important to try to go to bed at the same time every night as often as possible. This will definitely help you with your sleeping routine. Give your body and your mind a clear signal that it's time to wind down for the night. And that includes, you know, again, putting away those electronic devices, turning off the TV, maybe read or meditate or do some deep breathing. Sometimes I'll just lay there with my eyes closed until I'm ready ready to fall asleep. Just something that puts my mind and body in sleep mode. And again, shoot for seven to nine hours of sleep every night. This is going to help you be refreshed, have the energy to make it through your workout, through your day, and help you see weight loss results. When we're tired, our body craves energy, and that's in the form of sugar, processed carbohydrates, and junk food. Not to mention our ghrelin levels, our hunger hormone is elevated, and our leptin levels, our satiety hormone is decreased. So it's just a recipe for disaster. So make sure you do what you need to do to get in your sleep every single night. I know I notice a big difference when I'm lacking sleep in so many different areas. So I really have a set bedtime routine that's been really helpful for me. Now that we've talked about my trip, my beautiful necklace, the Weight Watchers workshop topic, let's talk about my way in. Like I said, over the weekend, I didn't track my food. I ate what I wanted to eat. I was still mindful of protein. I was mindful of how many calories I was consuming, but I also enjoyed my little weekend getaway. When I came home, I stepped on the scale Tuesday 
morning and I was actually up about three pounds, but I was very sore from the 10K as well as the hiking. So I knew that that weight fluctuation wasn't an actual weight gain, that it was simply just a result of being sore, my muscles inflamed, retaining water from a weekend of tons and tons of activity. I had between 15,000 and 25,000 steps on both Saturday and Sunday. By Wednesday, by Thursday, my weight leveled itself back out again. And when I weighed in today, I'm exactly the same weight as I was last Friday, pre-weekend getaway. So it just proves that you don't have to track your food, that you can enjoy a little weekend getaway or vacation and not gain weight. So I am thrilled with the maintain. Like I've mentioned as well, I'm kind of in maintenance mode right now. I'm eating more calories to maintain my weight. Some days I'm in a slight deficit, but overall I'm eating either in a slight deficit or at maintenance every single day. So it's working. I was able to maintain my weight this week after a weekend getaway, so I couldn't be happier. I don't have any other trips planned until a little bit later in the year. Right now I'm really focused on Lola and just making sure that she's healthy. She goes back into the oncologist on the 18th for some ultrasound, so I'll be giving you guys an update after that. But there are, like I said, a few things that we're concerned about with her. And as she's getting older and as she's hopefully fingers crossed, still in remission from lymphoma. I just want to spend as much time with her as possible. And truthfully, when I'm gone, I worry about her. So it, it makes it a little bit harder to enjoy my trip. I do still plan on taking a lot of hikes. I'm actually doing an eight mile hike with my boot camp group in April. So I'm going to enjoy Arizona and enjoy where I live and just take a break from traveling a little bit to focus on Lola. Now I want to hear from you guys. Let me know down below. How was your week? How was your weigh in? What is, what are your things that you do for your bedtime routine? that help you fall asleep and stay asleep and help you, of course, reach your weight loss goals. Let me know everything down in the comments. And of course, I'll link She Said Yes for you. I'll link my necklace. Highly recommend. This is one of my favorite jewelry pieces that I have in my collection. And again, you can use the code Jen Clayton for 15% off. I'll also have nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and my Facebook group. Come join us there, all down in the description box for you. And I will see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye!